yeah, my name is Julie Mansfield. I um, co-direct the CHIP Center here at OSU, and I also serve as a principal investigator on um, the projects. My background is in mechanical and biomedical engineering, and I've been involved with CHIP since 2009. Um, so I started as a little baby master's student back in 2009 and have really been so, so lucky to grow really my entire career um, within CHIPs from the very beginning. So it's been such a such a dynamic and, and important group to work with. My main research areas of interest are child restraint system misuse and consumer feedback. So like Christy mentioned, non-use of CRS is still a, a major problem um, for, for a sizable proportion of children who are getting killed in crashes. But we also know that misuse of child seats is a large problem with studies citing between 60 to 90 percent of CRS is being misused in vehicles. And as an engineer, that really breaks my heart because I know that there's so much great design and testing and very precise um, engineering that goes into these products, but parents aren't able to get the full safety benefit from these products because they don't understand how to use them correctly. And so this is something that um, we've done several projects on, you know, bringing parents into the lab, bringing volunteers into the lab, watching how they install child seats, looking at what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong, what is the decision-making process as they're looking through different types of instruction manuals or labeling or stickers, and trying to kind of get inside the brain of the consumer to understand how we can make these products more intuitive um, and therefore help their children have a safer ride. I've also done um, several studies looking at CRS compatibility in vehicles. So um, over several years of these projects, we've assembled quite a large database of um, geometric dimensions of different child restraints and different vehicle interiors. I think we've measured maybe 250 different vehicle interiors, uh, the rear rows looking at things like the seat length, the seat height, the angles of the seat, the head restraint um, characteristics. And so we've assembled quite a large database and we've answered specific research questions um, in different specific projects, but we also have kind of amassed this um, database of dimensions, which has served as a really valuable benchmarking tool to a lot of our industry members. So if they're looking to, if a CRS manufacturer is looking to make their products fit a little bit better into vehicles, we have a, kind of a snapshot of the modern vehicle fleet that they can uh, benchmark from and vice versa as well. If the vehicle manufacturers are wondering, you know, what, what do modern CRSs look like? We have a lot of data to help answer those questions that go even above and beyond the original research questions for, for why that data was collected in the first place. So those have been some key interest areas. Um, moving on from those, we like to take the results of those studies and then put them into a dynamic test scenario. So looking at common misuses that are happening, looking at common incompatibilities, and setting up those scenarios on a sled and running some crash tests and trying to understand, okay, now we know what frequency these things are happening at, but what are the consequences of those different um, issues and how should we prioritize as a field what issues we're going to research next? So in future directions, um, in these lines of work, we're always looking towards new vehicle features, new CRS features. An example I have there are um, some changes in side wings on CRSs. We're anticipating with the rollout of FMBSS 213A, um, the side impact standard, we'll be seeing some changes to those side wings on CRSs. So trying to keep abreast of what's happening in the field and also you know, always thinking towards the consumers and towards the families who are using these products and trying to um, make that process a little bit easier for them.